Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to be looking at LEGO Jurassic Park set 76956, the T-Rex Breakout. Now this says for ages 18 plus, it has 1,212 pieces and it retails for $100. Let's get started. So first up we have Alan Grant and I love this figure. Alan Grant is probably my favorite character from the Jurassic Park franchise and I feel like they did a perfect job this figure. As you can see, they added printing to represent the water because they are out in the rainstorm. They also give them a flare which uses the candle piece and I don't know if that's a new piece but it works really well. And believe it or not, they actually changed the printing from the original. So here are the two figures side by side and as you can see, the newer one has a darker color. I don't know if it's supposed to be darker because of the rain but I like it a lot better. They actually changed the face print. As you can see, the new one looks a lot better than the old one. And this set does include a hairpiece for him. Next up is Ian Malcolm, and it looks like this is the one from the Bertober pack, except he also has rain printing. You can see he's got rain printing on his face, torso, and the back of his torso. He also has two faces, unlike Alan Grant. Um, he has a scared one and a screaming one, which I think is supposed to be for when he's trying to lure the T-Rex. And he also comes with a flare. Next we get Tim. Now this is pretty much the same figure as the original figure, except it has mud printing. As you can see, he's got front, back, and the face, but they actually took it one step further. They gave him a different color hairpiece to represent the mud. He got mud on his legs too, like they changed it, the color of his legs to represent the mud. He also has two face prints, a happy one, which I think this is supposed to be for when he falls out of a tree and he's like, well, we're back in the car again. And then he's got a scared one for whenever he first sees the T-Rex or while well, he's trapped under the car. They also give him the helmet he finds in the back of the Ford Explorer. Last but not least, we have Lex. Now this is pretty much the same as Tim. It's like the same as the original, except mud printing. As you can see, mud on the shirt, legs, back. They changed the color of her hair and gave her a, a brown arm to represent mud. She also has two faces. She's got the happy one and then the scared one. And it also gives her the flashlight she uses whenever the T-Rex first breaks out. So here is the set itself. It does come with some side builds, but I'm going to take them off for now so we can just look at the set. So here is the base of the set. It's the T-Rex paddock. And this part's probably one of my favorite parts of the set because it has like tons of details. As you can see, it has the T-Rex footprints from when it first breaks out, the broken fence with the voltage warnings and the lights. It also does have the little sign at the front, which is nice. And then it has the railroad that the Ford Explorers use. And as you can see, it has the crushed Ford Explorer. Now, something I was hoping that you could do with this set is that you could take it and like give extra parts to where it's not crushed, but no, it, it can't. It's, it's just um, a crushed Ford Explorer, which it's, it's fine. I just kind of wish you could have rebuilt it so you could have two Ford Explorers, but I can't complain. But if you take out the Ford Explorer, you can see it has the, the crushed indention where the Ford Explorer is. And you can see there's the rain dripping in and has a bunch of stuff for mud. You're probably wondering what these, this stuff is, and I'll get to that later. But as you can see, it has the rail from over here, except it's crushed because everything's gonna be pushed down. And I really like that. As you can see, it also has some more warnings those are stickers, sadly. Um, but yes, so it has this piece right there, that little green piece, which probably looks out of place. But you're actually supposed to put the Ford Explorer on that, and it actually sticks to it. So like, so that way it won't move. And I think that's really good. You can't turn this into an actual Ford Explorer, but I don't know, having that feature kind of makes up for it. Um, but yeah, as you can see right here, it's got the logo, Lego Jurassic Park, and then a quote, boy do I hate being right all the time, by Nahe and Malcolm. Back here, there's even more references back here. As you can see, there's the jungle, 
and then it has the leash that the goat uses. It does not come with any goat remains, sadly, but I mean, I guess it's still fine. So up first on the side builds, we have the T-Rex, or as the fandom calls her, Rexy. And I'm not gonna lie, I actually like this better than the molded one. Maybe it's because like it's, it has more articulation than the molded one. As you can see, the legs can move up and down. The tail can spin and move up and down like that. The one complaint I'd have with this is that the head can't move from side to side. It's just hooked on by that one joint and so it can only move up and down. I kind of wish it could have moved side to side. I guess that's what the only thing the molded one has over it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, the mouth can open and close. It has movable arms. You can't fit anybody inside its mouth like you could the molded one, but I think this one just looks a lot more accurate and it looks a lot more better than the molded one. I also think it matches Lego's style more. Like I kind of wish they did brick built dinosaurs, but I can also see why they did molded dinosaurs because it's probably easier than to design this whole thing just for like one set. So here's the instructions and it has like a bunch of like stuff behind the scenes of the set and stuff, people talking about it. And I was reading through this and the designer of the set talked about this part where he adds in a little green plate. He said he added that in to represent the genetics of it since it's not like an actual dinosaur, it was genetically made. And I think that's a great detail, like it was so unnecessary, but they put it in either way. And I think that's incredible. Here we have the non-destroyed Ford Explorer and this is um, amazing. I, I love this. Like I think that, I wanna say it's minifigure scale, as you can see, it has tons of stickers, which were a pain to put on, but I think I did a pretty good job. Like, this this is amazing. Like, this is like, I'm gonna say this is like perfect. Like, there might be some fan mocks better, but I feel like I'm, I'm happy with this. So as you can see, it has the sticker on the back, Ford Explorer, license plate, and if you can actually take off the roof like that, you can see it has room for four figures, and right there, you can see the little computer that they use, which shows them like stuff on the island. And then it also has the two water cups, which is a nice little detail. And then back here is where you store stuff. So as you can see, I already have the flare on there, but you can also put the flashlight that Lex uses back there. You can throw Tim's helmet back there and it all fits nice and perfectly. Okay, so now that I've looked at everything else, let's actually put it all together. So like I mentioned before, there's these random plates and stuff. They're actually for the minifigures. So you take the figures and you can put them on there. So Alan Grant goes there. Back here is where you put Tim and Lex and they fit on there like that. These two plates over here is where you put the Ford Explorer so it can't roll and it stays there. And then this, this part and that part is where you put the T-Rex. So you go like this, put them on there like that. So you can have them like crushing the car and it all fits perfectly. And the final product is amazing. So we got the T-Rex crushing the car. We got Alan Grant trying to lure her away. We got Lex and Tim back there. And yeah, this set is incredible. This is definitely one of my favorite sets I own. And if you're a Lego collector or you love Jurassic Park, this set is perfect for you. Like if you're fans of Jurassic Park, like there's tons of references to the movie and it's, it's so good. Like it's such a good display piece. Like you would love it. And, or if you don't want like Jurassic Park, and you just want like display Lego sets, this is a perfect display set. But anyways guys, that's probably gonna be it for today's video. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you wanna see more, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye.